time. So I always start my day with some of this. This is my own little, little concoction here. Apple cider vinegar, uh, cranberry juice, lemon juice, and then with some uh, alkaline water. I'm just... Santeva! 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 Uh, and then after I let that sit for a little in my gut with nothing else in there, I will make myself a shake with all types of good goodness in it. My shaker cup draw. My favorite shaker. This is about uh, six years old. I wonder why it's so good. Because it's got this little thing here. See this? That's what they call the blow off valve. Pop that thing. It's like shotgun and a beer. That's what it's all about. I got that shaker cup the first time I ever bought supplements. <laughs> and I still have it. Because it's the best. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this all ready and I'll show you what I put in my shakes. Okay, so this is my morning shake. Um, I've got whey protein isolate, uh, a multivitamin powder that I put in the actual shake. Uh, i got other vitamins I take, I'll show you those in a minute. Um, homo milk, because at Heart Body Fitness we don't discriminate. Um, a cup of quick oats. So two scoops of whey right now, two cups of homo milk, cup of oats, and one tablespoon of avocado oil in the morning, and some water with my vitamins, and this is about 20 minutes, half an hour after I have my uh, alkaline detoxification combo that uh, we don't know if it actually does anything. Uh, I put some sea salt in there, some Himalayan salt, okay, a uh, shaker cup of alkalized water, and then my uh, little concoction here, take a big huge chug of this, and uh, on an empty stomach, it really, I mean regardless of all the things that that little combo boasts, it makes you feel really good, and um Honestly, it actually, I was in, in the off season, I was suffering with a massive amount of heartburn for a while. And I'll tell you without, with a hundred percent, without a doubt, the, uh, drinking that combination has gotten rid of my heartburn completely. 100%. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's my shake. Uh, and then I take some vitamins with it. Got this suppy cup over here. Take some knack, um, some calcium magnesium, omega 3s, vitamin D's. Uh, I got more magnesium because you can never take enough magnesium. I also take cold effects. Uh, I know that's kind of funny, but, uh, and then my multivitamin. The, um, you know, cold effects is one of those things, like even if it is a placebo, I don't even care because I don't get sick. I haven't been, I haven't been truly sick in forever. Every once in a while, I'll start to get like, um, you know, feel like a little run down, like something, like I'm getting something and then uh, I'll just rest and I never get fully sick. So I honestly attribute that to to the cold effects because that's the way it's been since I started. Just hanging out in my office, doing some work. That's what I usually do after I get up, have my shake before I go to the gym. Uh, always learning. So I got my subscription to the Hypertrophy Coach um, site going right now. Ooh, we getting suited and booted. Just gotta get my hair did. The hard body fit. So it's leg day, that means I got my, my short shorts on, my hoodie, I'm going to rock my uh, Atomics, you know what it is. Uh, I also have um, a pair of these 
They're like uh, super fancy like squatting shoes. But you know what? I never really use them. Um, they're just like, I like to do a lot of my training in bare feet. And they're really hard to get on and off. Um, so most of the time I'll use my Atomics because they pretty much are like training in bare feet. You cinch those things down and they're completely flat sole and, um, and they've got nice ankle support. So I'll either train in like something that slips on real quick uh, like these, like these uh, dope like Puma shoes um, and they're just like cloth and you can slip them on and off real quick and then I'll train in socks most of the time for leg day or I'll do my Atomics or um, if I'm just going to have a, a day where I'm doing a lot of heavy squatting then I will use my squat shoes. Um, but yeah, I think the Atomics are, are the easiest choice in footwear for leg day. Uh, so I'll show you what's in my gym bag. Okay, gym bag is a mess. Got some tanning lotion, some really sweet masculine tanning goggles, my uh, wrist wraps. So, oh, here are my knee sleeves. So we're gonna use those today. We've got some, um, these are my uh, straps. So we're gonna use these and these. I'm not gonna need the elbow sleeves. I wear those because I got bad elbows. Um, this is, yeah, some hand sanitizer, my lock. These are my sweet um, headphones, which I'll actually do a review on because they're like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> They were $26 off of Amazon, and they are the best headphones I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> I have had Bose in-ear headphones. Uh, no, not Bose. Uh, what are they? Um, the Beats, Power Beats 2s, and they lasted like eight months. Uh, I've had every kind of wired headphone there is, and one year always goes out. These I have had for about a year and a half. They were $26, and they are perfect. They have amazing sound. Uh, the only downside to these headphones is the battery life. They last about two workouts. So I'm actually going to go ahead and plug those in right now. Um, and then give them a quick charge before I leave. And look at this. My boy. Look how cute my boy is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. I'm going to put my knee sleeves on. Um, and bring these. And then I'll actually write out my workout before I go. This is my training log, which I will definitely go over. Because having a training log is absolutely vital. Um, it is the most important thing if you are training in a progressive overload fashion. Because you got to know what you got to beat from last week. Um, so what I'll do is I'll write out my current workout. I'll look at last week's numbers. And then when I go in the gym... I'll do my exercises and I will um, look over everything from the past and make sure that I'm progressing. Uh, here's my upper session from yesterday. Uh, pretty messy writing. And I'll write out my workout and I'll show you guys. Okay, so here we got today's workout. Uh, so yeah, legs. Um, and then the gym that I'm doing it at, Club Phoenix here in Victoria. Date. Uh, and we're going to start off with seated hamstring curl and do three sets of just the regular style. So two legs at a time, two heavy sets, um, targeting six to eight repetitions. And then my third set is a, um, you know, what some might call a back off set, but essentially it's more of a hypertrophy, uh, traditional hypertrophy style set done in the 12 to 14 rep range. 
um, always with maximum load, of course. And then the second movement is gonna be the same seated hamstring curl, but one leg at a time with the same rep scheme. The seated hamstring curl is prioritized for me because the seated hamstring curl, I think, is the best uh, hamstring developer overall. Um, just the mechanics of it. For most people, it's gonna be the best way to build your hamstrings. Um, I know that's a bold statement, but just is what it is. Um, so that's prioritized. That's my first, um, first movement. Also, there's been a lot of studies that um, suggest, or yes, I guess I would say suggest, that um, training your hamstrings um, before your quads helps to stabilize your quads. And after reading that, I tried it for the first time, and I don't know if it was just because it was in my head or what, but I definitely, um, definitely believe that that's true for me. Anyways, I just feel stronger, more balanced, more stable um, within my heavy uh, quad dominant movements after training hamstrings first, uh, after getting those hamstrings stretched and full of blood. Anyways, um, secondly, we're moving on to like the big dominant quad exercise. Um, hack squats. So actually, interestingly enough, is the, the way that I do these, um, I do them with more of a focus on my um, adductors. So the, my inner, uh, inner leg, inner quad area, because that's very lacking for me. Um, so I do these kind of, I, put my, I place my feet a little lower on the pad and then a little wider and a little bit of a sumo stance with the toes pointed outwards to put a little bit of focus on there. And I'll show you that when I'm at the gym. Um, so I do four sets of those, three heavy sets, one back off set, just because this is my dominant, um, you know, quad and abductor focus here. And then we've got the seated calves, four sets, same scheme as the hack squats, the Cybex leg press, which for me works really, really well for my body. And again, when I'm doing these movements, um, you know, my, my quads are fairly developed, but my adductors are lacking. So I try to just put a placement, put, put my feet placement in a way that it's going to put a little bit more emphasis on those adductors. Um, so for this, it's, it's gonna, again, gonna be a little lower, um, a little wider on the pad. Well, so my current pre, this Dust V2, this stuff is absolutely insane. Um, definitely a very, very strong workout. Gets the job done for leg day for sure. Uh, I usually switch up my pre's like every time I just buy a new one. Unless I found one that, um, I really, really like. Um, cause I'm, I'm like definitely what you would call non-sensitive to stimulants. Um, I... I um I take this like right before like literally I'll go to the gym get everything out of my bag and I'll chug my pre-workout and do all my warm-ups before it kicks in that way um, you know everything is kicking hard while I'm training uh, all right so I feel like I'll make a driving video log because everybody who does vlogs seems to make these uh, so just driving to the gym, just probably just ramble about something related to training. Um, you know, the things that I, that go through my head before I train. Um, the mental aspect to bodybuilding is so incredibly important. Um, you know, it's, it's like, if mentally you're not ready to train and you're not ready to put it all out there today, then just stay home, rest, eat. Um, and then, you know, when you're ready, go and train. Right now, I'm ready. I, uh, had to take two days off, um, due to work. Not yesterday. Yesterday I trained upper, but, um, the two days before that, I took off. And, man, when you come back after a few days, you've been eating, you're ready. Oh, man, the workouts are absolutely insane. Um, craziness happening on the road. Jesus Christ. Um, anyways, um, I am like prepped. I'm primed. Ready to go. Uh, I'm going to do a real nice heavy leg day. Um, 
And yeah, like I showed you guys my logbook. I'm going to um, compare those numbers and make sure that I beat everything. And the, and the crazy thing is, is like my last leg day was so intense that when I'm going into this one, I'm like, how, like, when I finished that leg session, I was like, there's no way I could do better than that. But that's the name of the game. It's um, every single time you go in, you have to do better. You've got to push harder. Um, you know, think of it as a competition, as a game. You know, any, any of you guys who have ever played, um, you know, sports or something, like, you know, you, you go in, you try and beat the other team. But here you're trying to beat yourself, <laughs> right? And that's the name of the game. Beat those numbers. Um, and progress will happen. Like, you know, don't fall into the, all this stuff that you see. Pro bodybuilders just pumping up on video. That's not what's, that's not where the work, that's not the work that's happening that builds the physique, okay? Um, don't be fooled gotta go in and you gotta do the hard work so right now uh, I'm just pulling up at the gym um, and I'm going to have my pre-workout I'm going to listen to some music uh, I'm gonna just review my little book and then I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna kill it and uh, I'm just gonna film a few little things uh, I'll do separate videos for um, like full-on training Had to do a little grocery run after the uh, after the gym. How does this work? There we go. Okay. See what we got. And yes, sometimes I shop at Walmart. I know, I know, I know. It's bad. It's disgusting. But one thing, one thing you gotta learn about me. If you're on my channel, I'm 100% hippie free. And that means you're never going to find me talking about, I don't need aspartame and all this. Because, guess what? We don't play that. I ain't scared of no aspartame. Aspartame ain't got nothing on me. Let's see what we got. We got sauce. I use a lot of sauce, but you know what? I never get lost in the sauce, and that's really important. Um, some cereal. I love me some Cheerios. Some egg whites. Okay, so this is just like a little supplementation so I can get some stuff. Um, supplementation of what I already have. I get a lot of eggs. But I put egg whites in my shakes sometimes, extra little protein, um, put berries in my oatmeal. I'm about to have my next meal, so I'll have, um, after training, I'll usually have a cup and a half of oats and six eggs with some berries. That'll be my next one. I might do grapefruit, or sorry, not grapefruit, pineapple today. Um... Yeah, so I'll do up that meal. I'll show you guys. A okay, really easy um, meal that's absolutely gross for any normal human being, but for someone who, um, you know, is all about them gains and not all about fancy eating, 
just feeding the machine. This is a great meal. Don't forget to compost. So that's how we do. Uh, so yeah, six eggs, uh, a cup of oats, and then I do a, a half, or sorry, a pack of this um, lightly sweetened oatmeal. Uh, it's got a little like less sugar in it, but it still gives you that like cinnamon appley flavor. So put that in there, and then I'm just gonna have some pineapple on the side. So anyone that thinks that this is gross, I mean, it is gross, but uh, <laughs> it's not so bad. It just tastes like oatmeal. You just kind of like mash it all up. Got my pineapple, some water. Uh, water intake with meals. Um, there's a lot of um, discussion about, uh, you know, should I drink water with my meals? And the answer is no, actually. Um Really, like, don't drink water 20 minutes before meals or 20 minutes after, and you're, that's your best bet. But uh, that's not always possible for me, and this is disgusting, but for me, with some of my really gross, bland meals that I eat daily, I choke them down with water, um, just because that's how I got to do it. Um, but if you can, water around mealtime should be minimal. There's a whole bunch of science that I won't get into for the reasons why, uh, but really, it's just it has to do with digestion. Um, the more water you drink with your food, um, the harder it's going to be to digest the food properly because it dilutes stuff, and it, it, there's a whole bunch of effects that it has. I won't get into it, anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat my meal. I'm gonna watch my 48 hours. Um, if there's anything that I'm, you know, that I, when I watch TV, that it's not uh educational i'm always watching true crime because i'm just a sick sick little bastard like that okay yummy okay so time for another meal um we got some rice going uh, a little, little diet pepsi some ice so i'm just gonna do a little quick stir fry chicken some sauce lots of veggies um, and then some almonds. So this is another one of my bro meals. And then um, I'll do a free meal, which I, what I call a free meal. So it's just like a, a meal that I can eat with my family. Tonight I'm going to make spaghetti and meatballs. Um, and then um, I'm going to um, have a Greek yogurt and cereal and almond meal. And then I'll have my nighttime shake and that'll be my food for the day. I uh, probably won't film all that just because... And maybe I'll do a separate videos for, um, for like, a you know, I'll, I'll do a, 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 you know, one of those videos. It's like a full day of eating. Um, right now I just show you guys a few things about what I do. Uh, this is just like a day in the life type deal. Okay. Here it is. This is meal four going in. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap up my uh, first uh, vlog here um, and just tell you a little bit about myself. I realized that I didn't really talk about, you know, who I am, what I do and that kind of stuff. So I'll end it with, uh, on that note. Um, so I own a personal training business, online coaching, um, and I also train people in person. Um, but I prefer online coaching. I mean, it's really convenient. Uh, I can coach people from anywhere. Um, mainly uh, focusing on hypertrophy, muscle building, strength building, um, you know, and bottom line, uh, body transformation, body composition work. Um, you know, most people who come to me are looking for uh, fat loss. Um, you know, I wanna be ripped, uh, that kind of thing. So we'll take a look at their body, see where they're at and most of the time um you know like any good coach should do they'll have you well i'll have you um lose lose weight and then we build the physique um lose fat um you know uh when people come up to me all the time and ask me about you know how do i get big how do i do this how do i do that i mean obviously the the um the most common response is gonna be consistency. Um, but there is, you know, really important factors to like, um, 
you know, what you should be consistent with, right? Uh, you know, if you consistently eat a ton of food to gain weight when you already have a lot of body fat, uh, you're just going to end up as another perma bulker, big guy with big arms and a big gut. Um, you know, so if you want to create a shape, you have to create that shape first and then build off of it. So that means if you want to be a lean ripped bodybuilder type of person, <laughs> you have to become very lean and then we build the muscle. Um, that's usually the first step because, you know, this is, this is the really important part is you cannot build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Um, you know, there's, there's studies that show that people who are, you know, heavy anabolic and androgenic drug users can, which, you know, in some situations could be true. Um, you know, newbies, so people experiencing those newbie gains, um, you know, things like that. Some of those type of people can recomp their body. So, you know, just kind of shape up. But for the general, most of the general public, um, you know, it's going to take some serious effort in terms of, um, you know, getting in shape first and then building off of that shape. Um, so that's like, I guess my number one tip to anyone looking to get in shape. First of all, um, hire someone like myself to educate you on, you know, the proper diet and the proper training techniques for your goal. Uh, you can always do all the research yourself. Um, of course, I mean, that's a great way to go, but then you have to put in the work. Um, but like I mentioned before, through my training, um, you know, I build programs, uh, I learn people's bodies, um, I continuously update their programming so that they continue to see progress. Um, but most of all, I think what I would, what I would say is the most important thing that I do when someone hires me is I educate that person, um, on how to move forward, right? Because my programming isn't based off getting you stuck with me for years and years and years. It's, uh, you know, I'll teach you what you need to know under my guidance, we'll shape you up and then you're off on your own and you know how to move forward with whatever your fitness goals may be. If it's just to be able to, you know, play soccer and be in a little bit better shape or if you want to compete one day um, in a, you know, physique competition or whatever. You know, I teach those skills, I teach those habits um, so that, you know, moving down the road, you can continue to, um, to progress. That's uh, really important. So, <clears throat> yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm uh, a father, I'm a husband. Uh, I do have a career outside of this. I work with at-risk youth. Um, I won't go into that too much in my channel, most likely, just because there's a lot of confidential confidentiality stuff around that, but that is my main career. And then this is also what I do. I'm a, um, an online coach and a competitive bodybuilder, uh, but I compete in the classic physique division. Um, I'll be doing my next show, June 15th, 2019. Uh, here in Victoria, BC. Um, my last show was uh, last season and uh, I placed fifth in uh, my category, which is which was C-class, tall guys. Uh, I was only 180 something pounds on stage. Um, so at six foot one, I was very thin, but I was absolutely diced. Um, you know, maybe I'll, put, I'll be putting up some pictures of that show. Um, I learned a lot. And when I compete again, I'm hoping to be 200 pounds lean on stage. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all about the slow, steady progress. Um, you know, through, throughout watching my channel, you're going to learn a lot about what I'm about. Um, you know, but there's, you know, you see the basics, you eat a lot, you lift heavy. <laughs> those, are, those are the very basics. And if you're trying to get big, you're trying to get strong, you're trying to look a certain way and you're not doing those things, then you really need to reevaluate um, where you're at. And uh, don't underestimate the importance of hiring guidance. I mean, it, like even if it's not me, 
you know, find someone that you trust, find someone who knows what they're doing, um, find someone who bases their coaching off of principles. That's the word, <laughs> principles. Not something you read online one time, not someone, some guys, not something some guy said, you know, not something they came up with. Principles of training, principles of nutrition. Um, there is, there is, you know, there is the, the basic principles of training that, that all plans should be based off in one form or another. Um, <clears throat> I have my principal methods that I think are the most um, optimal for the general public and everything that I do is personalized. So, um, you know, it, that means I work around injuries, I work around food sensitivities, lifestyles, schedules, everything. The plan is only as good as a plan is only good if the person can actually stick to it. Um, and that is really the key there. Um, anyway, so uh, I won't ramble on forever. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thanks for bearing with my um, hilarious first video. I know it's super uh, ghetto and crappy, but you know what? That's just the way it is. That's the way it is when you start training. That's the way, that's the way it is when you start your diet and you learn. And six months from now, my videos will be really good. Uh, but you know what? This is the first run and uh, keep, keep an eye out on my channel because I'm going to be doing all types of stuff. I'm going to be doing reviews um, of products, giveaways. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, proper execution of exercises. So like how to do tricep push down properly, um, you know, short clips so that when the next time that you, you know, want to know how to do something, you can just go and click on it on, you know, a video, there'll be a video library of how to do each exercise properly. So I'm going to build that up. Uh, I'm going to be doing vlogs quite often, just like this one that you're watching. Um, and you know, stuff like, um, you know, a full day of eating, um, and then also training sessions, just a raw video of, of training footage, you know, just me doing sets uh, exactly how they're mapped out in my programming, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching.